Hello, ladies and gentlemen. A while ago, my family purchased this Bosch drill, but basically it went broke pretty fast. It had an ICAP battery in that somehow was not all that good. And I was able to recondition it and now it works, but problem is the original charger gave up working pretty fast. So what we did, we purchased a Nikat charger for an 8 cell battery, 9.6 volt, and it did not fit into or with that battery. It didn't work that well because it had different things in there and it just wasn't good with the battery. So what we tried is we just went and bought or applied the original charger port that was or that came with the original charger plug and soldered it right on here but as it came up this original charging plug was broken so I was like okay that's a pretty good screwdriver and the battery is working again and I would like to use it but how? I can't always charge it with my laboratory power supply or something. So I went online and at my online electronic seller, I found this. A Video 8 or VHS-C battery charger. This one comes with a wall outlet a power supply, 14.4 volts, 800 milliamps. A car adapter with pass through and this charging thing. And it cost me one euro ninety five. That's less than three dollars. It was new. I bought multiple of them just for the heck of it. I can use those cigarette lighter plugs as well as the good power supply. Which is not a switching one, but hey. It still works. So yeah. It's a battery charger that can charge um, six, seven, and eight cell, and I think even five cell batteries. My kit. And, um, as you can see on here, it can also, uh, fast charge if you have a power supply, 12 volt, 1.5 amps, I think it said somewhere. And it can charge in one to two hours. That's good. Very good when working with this, uh, with the drill. So, basically, if we unbox it, you will find... First of all, this whole intelligent thing. It's basically just an adapter box for all the different types of batteries you could put in here. And down there, it has an outlet, 7.2 volts and 9.6 volts. Also, it has an input of 12 to 16 volts, perfect for charging it from lead acids or your solar system or something. And, best of all, it comes with a um, cigarette lighter plug with pass-through. And, one of those beefy old power supplies. Which is 14.5 volt, 800 milliamps, and it has all the safety seals on you could possibly get in Germany. Um, so, I think that's a quite good power supply. So, what you basically do is you take a power supply, plug it into the input, and now we somehow have to make use of the output. How do we do that? This plug fits in there quite nicely, and I don't need the outlet the jack on this cigarette lighter plug. So, why not take a pair of sight cutters, cut it off, we can use it for other projects later, and unstrip the wires. Think about that the white stripe on here usually tells that it is positive, but we can still check with our multimeter should something go wrong. So we unstrip it. We've got those two bare wires. I'm gonna unstrip it a little bit more just that we can put it 
attach it to the other wire. Now we need our original outlet or adapter for the battery. And what do we do? We just cut it off. This old brick is not working anymore. I'm just gonna throw it away. So we now have this wire and this wire. This one is going to the adapter where we put our battery in. And the only thing we have to do is to connect those two wires. I have no clue what's positive and what's negative. So what I will do now is I will get my multimeter and check which polarity those two cables have. So what I did now, I just got a multimeter. I put the battery into this adapter port. And I will just check which wire is positive and which is negative. So just gonna put this one cable to the red, so positive of my multimeter. This one to put black, so negative of my multimeter. And if it shows me a minus on or before the number, I know that it's the other way around. And check it, it is 7 volts, not minus, meaning that this wire here that I put on positive is positive. Just gonna connect that, or oh, put it on the left side so I know it's positive. And now I will put this adapter into the 9.6 volt outlet of the charger. And I'm gonna see whether this is right polarity, or which is which. Okay, I hope you can see, I'm now getting 9 volts, or at least I'm not getting a minus before my number, meaning that this is positive. I'm just, just going to check again that I've got a light polarity, not that I'm going to discharge battery, and I have, so this cable here is positive, I'm going to put it on the positive of this chinch cable or the adapter. It's jack, it's not chinch, but it's a different jack. Um, put it together. And now the only thing I have to do is get some wire and make sure those two terminals don't touch each other. And that's actually pretty easy. Just wrap it around, make sure there's no short circuit, and you will feel with those nightcats out of the power tools because they will definitely get warm, not even hot. They're short circuited because they can deliver high currents. Believe me, you don't want to short out some power tool nightcats. Just put it together, plug it in. There's no LED on here, but I suppose the thing is charging. And we can definitely test that by checking the voltage on the battery. And then checking it like two minutes after we put it into the charger. Voltage of the battery is 8.27 volts. I'll put it into the charger. Let it sit in here. Just make sure you've got it in the right thing, not that you don't really charge your battery with the 7.2 volts, you really need the 9.6 volts because it's a 9.6 volt battery and you want it to be fully charged. So we have 8.3 volts. Just gonna check if it probably increased because the capacity on those things is not the biggest. And check 8.8 .8 volts, meaning this thing is working. 
and we just made ourselves a new charger for less than three dollars. And we still have leftover ports that we can use for other products. Just like this core outlet that probably would have cost like three or four dollars at Radio Shack or whatnot. And we now made use of a supposedly broken drill that we would have just thrown away. So perfect. That's how you recycle things. Or, yeah, modify things, revive them for very low money. I hope it helped you. Probably you can get that thing over in the US as well. Just gonna show you how it's called. It's the model number EL300A. If you're able to get that in the US or somewhere over the world, you can let it work. Probably just get it over eBay or something. And buy yourself like a 12 volt, 2 amp. Wall outlet, and you can even charge your battery in a fast charger mode. Hope it helped you, and yeah.